What's up guys? Uh, this is going to be a real quick tutorial on sidechain compression in FL Studio 12 using the Fruity Limiter. Um, so this is basically a brand new project. Um, you can see here, all I have is just a kick and a lead, and then I have four channels in my mixer track here. So just do something similar if you want to follow this tutorial, or I mean if you know what you're doing then it's fine. So I haven't loaded anything onto these channels or done anything to them. It's just a kick a lead, sidechain trigger, and a side chained. So the side chain trigger is what we're going to use to trigger our side chain, and the side chained is what's going to be side chained. So, all right, let's get to it. I'm going to go up here to my step sequencer, and I'm going to load each four steps into the kick. Then I'm going to come into the lead. I'm just going to drop a note in here. Fill this back out. Four steps. And I'm going to play this, and it's going to sound like garbage. Ready? It's really fucking loud. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can hear that's unsidechained. It's not sidechained. It is not compressed. It's not anything. The kick is trying to get through this big ass lead and it just can't do it. Um, the lead is too strong. It's taking up too much space in the soundscape. So let's add a sidechain. Come to your mixer and send your kick to sidechain trigger, route to this track only. Send your lead to sidechained, route to this track only. So sidechain trigger is what's going to trigger our sidechain, and sidechain is what's going to be sidechain. Okay, now let's go to sidechain trigger, come down to sidechain, and say sidechain to this track. Now our kick is going to be sidechaining through our trigger into our sidechain track. Come to your sidechain track and open up Fruity Limiter. Come down to the bottom where it says comp, click that for compression. Right click on this little area where it says sidechain and choose your trigger, whatever you called it, mine sidechain trigger. So next we can set our limiter settings here. I'm going to drop the threshold down to I don't know, 30. The ratio uh, 2.5 sounds good. And I'm going to play this again, and you should hear and see in the limiter window here the compression. So that's sign chain compression in a nutshell. Um, I really enjoy using a limiter to do this. I think it sounds great. Um, and I also like it this way because I can add more kicks in here wherever I want. And my side chain will pick those up. And you don't get that flexibility if you use, you know, something like a grow speed or an LFO tool, unless you want to have a bunch of hacky automation clips everywhere. So um, I hope this helped. Uh, good luck in your producing endeavors. Peace out, guys.